So this is our Dusky that we caught from the Poconos. And you see he's pretty plump and, and his tail, he probably got attacked one, once, but he, it's growing back, back pretty good. He has like a maroon color on it. So he's in br breeding season. Hey, Nate, why don't you go down and see if you can get, um, you know what, go in the refrigerator and grab me the container of, of earthworms that are in there. Let's see if we can get them to eat. So, <clears throat> you could tell in this video, it's got this really cool crimson, not crimson, that's probably wrong, R really, really cool maroonish colored tail. Um, man, he's really cool. I mean, he's... He's pretty, he's pretty solid too. So. Give him an earthworm. We'll see if I can get him to eat one of these small worms. They're pretty, probably bigger than he wants. But, Give him a chance. Yeah, I'll cut it up. Hey, get, get the scissors right there. Dude. Cut that worm in half. Okay. So, I, I'm, I doubt he's going to really go for it, but hey, you never know. You know, these, these guys are known for being pretty voracious. So, put it in here. It's kind of hard to. No, oh, this guy's. Hungry. Oh my god. So, literally devouring a piece of earthworm I gave him. This little dusky. Showing who's boss. These guys are. I mean, there's a reason why. Look at him. There's a reason why he's a little beast, right? So dusky salamanders are definitely known for being um, predatory on other salamanders. They do their fair share of damage on um, two lines, long tails, you know, any uh, maybe small rubra, ju juveniles, and uh, also maybe other smaller duskies. These guys are pretty plentiful in Pennsylvania, Virginia. In the mountainous regions of New Jersey. His new name is Bruce. And <clears throat> to be honest with you, I've never had Dusky Solomon before. Um, so looking forward to setting him up in this new tank that's going to be set up just for him. Um, so stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll finish the foaming process of that tank and we'll start allowing the foam to dry and cycle in it. This is going to be his little temporary home for now. Um, and uh, as you can tell, dude's got a little bit of an appetite. Just ate a uh, small earthworm right in front of us. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. If you like Bruce, tell us in the comments below. Yeah, if you like Bruce, if you have any experience in maintaining dusky salamanders, uh, let me know. My intention is to hibernate this guy in the winter so he goes through his normal process. And um, maybe in time, maybe Nate and I will work on maybe trying to pick up some more of these guys and, and uh, see if we can get them to uh, reproduce. Bye. Bye, guys.